one second. Dude, this f***ing thing! I, w I, I think I looked stupid because I was just in awe of it. Like, the whole time we were talking, I was just like, that's f***ing ridiculous! Uh, you wanna go hit the stop recording button real quick? Uh, not really. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vic from Unsheathed Sword Reviews, and today is a very, very exciting day for multiple reasons, not the least of which being what we have in front of us. Today we are doing a very special unboxing of the Angus Trim Valiant Arbor Vision collaboration. We have the Ansbach Sword in front of us. But before that, we got something else to announce, don't we, John? We do. We have an upcoming contest video to announce. So, um, now's a good time to hit the subscribe button, because in the next little bit here, we're going to be releasing a video telling how you can enter to win the Dragon King Miodao. So, I'm not familiar if you're, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this sword, but it looks like this right here. And uh, it is retailing right now for $515 on Cult of Athena, except that you can't get it there because it's back ordered, and it's always back ordered. So, uh, pay attention and watch for your chance to win that sword. Yeah, so uh, in the very near future, we are going to be putting out kind of a mini review of that sword. And in that video, we will have full contest details, how you can enter, how you can win. The goal is we want to drive our subscribership up. Once we hit the number we specify, you know, we'll let you know how to win and all that. But yeah, really, really exciting times. Before we actually post that video, though, the next thing you'll see on the channel will be an official review of the Hanwei Banshee. We'll let you know if that budget range sword is worth checking out. Because, you know, we want to cover all ends of, of the financial range. And the last few swords we've been looking at are kind of on the higher end. So we're going to talk about some more budget end swords, too, for folks. Exactly. We want to be able to give you guys options across the board. Uh, hey, Vic. Yeah, John? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, my God. If you're too young, you don't get the reference. <laughs> it's true. So, all right. As uh, my cohort here starts unboxing this bad boy, let me explain what we have in front of us. If you don't know what the Vision Line swords are... They are a collaboration between Valiant Armory, uh, Zack and Sunny Subtles, and Angus Trim. And what they bring is Valiant Armory's really, really good hilt work, specifically their amazing leather work with the sword wow. harmonics and the blade and the uh, handling characteristics of uh, Angus Trim swords. So let's we'll just yeah, get that, that out of there. So what we have is a very high-end piece. Uh, it is not a cheap offering, hence why we wanted to show you a budget option You know, coming up soon. But I can honestly say I have never been as excited as I am for an unboxing than I am right now. I can't wait to get a look at this thing. Uh, every sword in the Vision line actually looks amazing. I'm happy that we got oh. this one because it is a 16A blade type and it is one I am. That doesn't even feel yeah, doesn't, like a real yeah, thing. Yeah, that can't be a real thing at all. That is so light. I know. Oh, well, light. let's take it out of the bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so light, that has no weight to it. Um, And when we do an official review down the line, we will give you full specs on all of that. This is just going to be our initial impressions. And I'm going to help because I want to get this. this Patience is not here. a virtue. Patience is not a virtue. I want my marshmallow now. Exactly. It's just very nice. Holy crap. Okay, let's try not to cut my fingers right. off. Wanna... We don't want to add to in today's episode of John Does Stupid Shit with Swords. We don't want that. I do out. like that that could be a playlist almost that we can create on the channel. Yes, it's true, but I'm not going to build content on purpose. All right, here we go. All right, oh, go for it. That's disappointing. Hmm. That won't come off. Oh, there you go. You know, even if you just have had it. <laughs> what in the... Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm a, uh, I'm, a wee, I'm a wee bit speechless. Yeah, so this is the Ansbach. It is a Oakshot Type 16A. Um, just give a quick look over. Um, the peen is perfect. Little, little wee bit of cleaning up I gotta do there. Um, it feels... Holy crap, it feels amazing. The guard looks good. Blade looks great. This I can't. <laughs> I can't. Believe I am in this. Let me see. I want to see. <laughs> that feels amazing. That is ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah, the blade is right and tight and straight. Uh huh. God, that is 
gorgeous. So I'm sure us just like drooling makes for a very entertaining <laughs> video. But it's, it's, um, it's one for us. So let me tell you what that you can expect uh, from a fit and finish standpoint for this price range. Uh, I dare say initial impressions are that it nails it. I'm utterly speechless. Like, yeah. I'm having trouble finding words right now. This thing does not feel anything like it should in terms of the way it looks. To like it, it's like the most pointable sword I've ever held. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, so initial impressions are great. It's very good. Uh, yes. <laughs> stay tuned. We have a lots of exciting content coming out very very soon. Um, oh my god, I want to go swing that around. Yeah. Now. So that, well, that's what we're gonna do. So. Yeah. So you guys have a good Cheers day. Cheers to you guys. Cheers and, uh, to that. We're gonna go cut stuff. Subscribe. <laughs> See you next time. I can subscribe. See you next time. Thanks. Peace. Peace.